Good morning. Today's Thursday, May 30th, C Day. I'm Josh Baker. And I'm Tiffany Moreno. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for some school announcements. Kennedy Live is looking for new anchors for the end of the year and for the whole year next year. If you would like to volunteer, please email kennedylive at kc.org. If anyone finds a gold cross, especially in the boys' locker room, please return it to Virginia Capilupo. All juniors that are running for next year's student council, there will be a meeting in room 103 immediately after school today with Mr. Bruder. Attendance is required. In world news, nearly 30 tornadoes were reported from Texas to Iowa on Wednesday, continuing a streak of 13 consecutive days across the United States with at least eight tornado reports. Residents around Canton, Texas reported storm damage after a confirmed tornado was on the ground on Interstate 20 east of Dallas. Outside of Texas, tornadoes also touched down across Illinois and Iowa. One person was reportedly injured from a tornado in Iowa. There will be a break in widespread severe weather across the central states on Thursday and Friday. A Texas man dressed in a Beto O'Rourke campaign shirt allegedly broke into an Austin home Tuesday and helped himself to a popsicle. Neighbors spotted James Gibbon Lin La uh, sorry, lingering in front of a home in the area. His presence prom prompted someone to ask what he was up to, and he responded that he was campaigning for Beto for president. He was found inside the home's kitchen, eating the tree, and was confronted. He said there was a misunderstanding and left. He admitted that he slid through the side door and went through a wallet and briefcase before eating the popsicle. He was charged with burglary. Well, I'm Josh Baker. And I'm Tiffany Moreno. And this has been Kenny Live. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.